Hi, my name's Pat Higgins, and I'm one third of the team that brought you the Death Tales movies, Bordello Death Tales, Nazi Zombie Death Tales. Nazi Zombie Death Tales is available in all good shops, but that's not the reason that I'm talking to you today. Today I'd like to make good on a promise, a promise that I made a long time ago and up to now haven't delivered upon. Uh, anybody who has made their way as a writer um, relies an awful lot on the encouragement and guidance that they got along the way. I remember very clearly uh, teachers who have encouraged me in my endeavours as I've gone through, um, including a teacher when I was six years old who I believe was called Mrs Gunn. And Mrs Gunn responded to uh, a piece that I wrote that was an adaptation of the feature film Flash Gordon, which at that point had just come out of the cinema. Uh, Mrs Gunn's response to that, which I have here, was a very encouraging... Well done, this is the standard I expect from you. And, crucially, can I tape you reading this story? I don't believe that Mrs Gunn did ever take me reading the story, so I would like to set that straight now. I'm going to read you Flash Gordon as described by my six-year-old self. There are a couple of illustrations. I um, don't know how well you can make those out. There's one there, one, one there. I was never an art student. Okay, here we go. Flash Gordon. On Saturday, I saw the film Flash Gordon, and this is its story. It all started with the destruction of Earth, near hot hail coming from the sky. Ming was at work. Meanwhile, some man in a car was reading a newspaper. He suddenly got up and jumped into an aeroplane. He suddenly took off his jumper and showed himself as Flash Gordon. Inside the plane was a dark-haired lady called Dale. Flash sat a little while staring at her. She did not notice him. Until he said, what's wrong, Dale shrugged. Suddenly a storm blew up. Dale fell off her seat and into Flash's arms. I love you, she said. Flash blushed. Suddenly Flash looked into the cockpit. No pilot. Dale and Flash took the controls. Down, down, down went the ship. Flash and Dale jumped out. One second later, kablam, the ship hit ground. A scientist came out. You are just the people I need, he said. Hang on a minute, said Flash. Come inside, said Zarkov. Zarkov was the name of the scientist. Flash and Dale followed Zarkov, and when he said he wanted all of them to go into a space in a rocket he'd got them into, they started to argue. Flash fell on a button. The craft started to move. Strap yourself in, for hell's sake, said Zarkov. Blast off. In an instant, the craft was in space, through a black hole, on into another galaxy. Suddenly it hit ground. Flash said to Dale, we've hit ground. Back home, asked Dale. Strange guards came outside. I don't think so, came the answer from Flash. Flash, Dale and Zarkov came out. We're from Earth, said Flash. Friends. A silver hand grasped his neck. Help was all he could squeeze out of his open mouth. He and Dale and Zarkov were marched into Ming's castle. Flash got hold of a paperweight and crap, crack, wham, mock, pow, help. Flash threw it into the guards. Zarkov made a miscalculation. Bang, the ball hit Flash on the head. It knocked him out. I love you, said Dale. Execute him, said Ming. Flash was put on the executing chair. Gas was coming out. The doctor gave Flash an injection. This will help you on your way, he said. I loved you, said Dale. Then the Hawkman entered. Executing, said Voltan. Shut up, said Ming. Not too polite, said Voltan. Later, Princess Aura came to see Flash with the doctor. Flash got up. The injection saved you, said the doctor. Aura took Flash away to the swamp planet owned by Prince Baron, leader of the Tree Men. Meanwhile, Zarkov was having his brain emptied by Ming. Ming also intended to have Dale as his wife. This was not the person she wanted. Voltan, meanwhile, was just thinking of nothing, just thinking. Aura left Flash with Baron, but Baron wanted to kill Flash, so Flash ran away. But soon he became tired. He lay down, but he lay on top of a tarantula. It fought until Baron shot it. Flash escaped and went to Voltan's castle, but Baron followed him, but there was a surprise Ming guard. Flash and Baron made friends and threw Ming's guard onto a spiky board. The spikes went straight through the guard. A spaceship went straight into Ming. Flash, Dale and Zarkov and Baron were unbeatable. Clap, wham, bang. All of the guards went crash on the floor. Voltan escaped during the fight. Flash was a hero. He was emperor for the day. Flash soon returned to Earth. 
Flash the Hero. That was an adaptation of Flash Gordon, as written by Pat Higgins, aged six, and read out by Pat Higgins, aged 38. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have enjoyed it, please go and buy Nazi Zombie Death Tales. Not because it's anything to do with Flash Gordon, but just because, well, all the normal reasons people want people to buy their movies. Cheers.